Okay, there we go. Now, let's begin the rest of this playthrough. Oh, A terrifying walk to get to the Queen. So many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. Rockfall. While journeying... While journeying... While journeying... While journeying... While journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge the rocks. Oh, okay, let's ignore the huge Truth failure. These options. I'm okay, I was I was never gonna succeed that, but I didn't mean to choose that one, so that's kind of annoying. Alright. Oh he's fifteen max health, that's fine. I can live with that I think. Uh twenty max health, it's not great. I don't wanna lose that. Oh what when you think it's over you're Knocked unconscious by a large rock, striking your unprotected head. A good warrior always wears a helmet. You remember hours later when you awaken to find that some of your supplies are missing. Okay, the gold thing's fine. Yeah, the gold thing's definitely fine oh, since I've got the curse that punches me. So the gold and stuff. Band Our attack. Bandits are displeased with your challenges. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. The dealer draws one monster card. Three dust, easy. Easy peasy, brah. I think they also edited the sound of the game too. It sounds better too. Done. No Ben's gonna come against me. Mm hmm I'll show him who's boss. No, I don't want gold. It's the opposite of the thing I want right now. Oh no, no, no! Again, not another rock fall. Tumble upon you. All right. Okay, it's, at least it's not a huge failure. Oh, I don't want to lose more max health. Don't do this to me. All right, seven five is in. Terrible, I suppose. Okay, there are some of my supplies as well. Okay, I got plenty of food. Let's go up here, so we'll see what we can find up here. Now, Queen of Dust. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the Queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Avoid that. Alright. Well, there's 75% health, it's not great. Alright, that's fine. She's not doing that much damage anyway. taken care of. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat Plowshare to sword 
die by the grim Goblin upgrade. Stronger counterattacks. Your counterattacks do more damage. Increased well, stun. Your stunning attacks bravely, now. Which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Increased stun. Your stunning attacks now render enemies uh, dazed for longer. New starting gear. Your starting uh, equipment has been upgraded. Bandit strength increase. Bandits have had their strength increase. Skeleton strength increase. Ban okay, cool. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously, I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. Uh, your meeting with Carlo of the Lamb Locked Lumber gains you this card. Smuggler's Wharf. For healing with the helpful priest you receive, or with dealing with the helpful priest you receive, you, I gain the 15 health points card, heal the ring card, and the charity card. For diving into the river you receive, Ring of Survival card. For joining Mr. Lionel's quest, this card gains a token. The Maiden. For helping the people of Lesser uh, Dimsgate, you receive the White Council too. As a reward for defeating Mr. Bandit, my Bandit Queen, you receive these new cards. Jack of Plague, Asleep in the Forest, Field of Poppies, Battle of Rocktop. Rock -top. As a re reward for defeating my Bandit Queen, you receive these new cards. Fleet Cuffs, Armor of Gold, Cold? Huge hammer. Come, play again. We will. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? Jack of Plague curses twice the f twice the fail. The player loses five gold for every fail, and ten gold for every huge failure chance card. Okay, that curse is pretty good. I will admit that curse is prime. Uh, three men hunt. Okay, cool. Ah, the rats. Deck builder. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realm. You can of sort out my deck for me. Now I'm like doing that. Your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and ride. All right, let's Our begin. Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. I'll show misfortune. Alright. Uh let's go right. Twisted Canyon. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down to receive the weapon. Might be pretty good. I bet the weapon's gonna be good. I, I, uh, my strategy with the picking the cards is I always choose the card with that had the previous failure earlier. So if let's say there was a huge failure on the third card, I always choose. I would choose the third card next because, in in my mind, it'd be less likely for the game to put that card there, even though it is randomized. You receive the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one weapon card. Huge hammer. Compare. It's ten Are more damage. Sure that's the right approach. Yes, I do. Let's go up. Uh, you, is a fine you know, I want to clear the area before I'm I finish. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. 
You do not seem to have the temperament for friends. Helpful priest. Even in the animal kingdom. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Sure, why not? And in this case, I would choose the biggest failure, which was... This one, if I wasn't correct. Oh, I was going to choose the other one. Damn. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is bone. Draw one blessing card. Retribution. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there is a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. That's pretty cool. How will you cross this time? Uh, your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear, but fast flowing. Attempt to cross the river. Damn. Your light armor makes the crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side cold and wet, but unharmed. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Alright. Next area. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. Ooh, I create maiden, them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. One day in the shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She steps. She stops to greet you. Your, th uh, your thoughts turn to the to Miss. Sorry, your thoughts turn to Mister Lionel and his need for some elven hair. Request a lock of hair from the elven maiden. Take a swig at the elf, elf maiden's hair. Oh, take a swing at the elf maiden's hair with your dagger. Let's not do that. Let's, let's request it. Let's be polite about this. The maiden uh, considers this for a moment before sl uh, slicing a few strands from her hair as you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they may never be trusted. This card's token is now yours. I trust Lionel. Lionel's kind of a cool dude, you know? The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have all have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Well done. Thank you. See? You can be nice about this. You can compliment me for doing good things. Thank you. Hey, it's Lionel! Old buddy Lionel. While sitting and listening to the bay's gossip at the lo local tavern, a strange old man takes his seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with his wizarding wand of my own creation. Uh, let's ask him what he needs. The goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel before making a sudden grab at something. He then sits considering he then sits considering you for a while before Lapping the table with his hand. Hmm, I know what you need. Here, Miss Earl, here, Mr. Lionel pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it up for you. Reach in and you will receive your heart's desire. Draw one equipment card. Move quickly from here. There is little material gain to be made. Angel's Wings. This helm involve, uh, imbues the wearer with greater movement speed. Sick. We shall meet again. The goblin suddenly declares. He then st he then strides confidently out the back of the tavern. I have no money. In a shadowy grove of the off the beaten trail, you find a traveling mer 